right, guys, we are in the Monster Energy Kawasaki pits, and we got Jason Anderson's number 21 machine here, and this thing's beautiful. Uh, these guys have talked about how this new model, they love the feel of it right away, so we'll see how it goes tonight. But uh, just looking at it, I love all the green, you know, not having white or black plastic mixed in. Um, so on the front, you can see this oversized rotor, huge front rotor, and uh, look at the little sticker here, El Hombre, really cool magnesium colored hub. Uh, these are a Showa Spring Fork. Uh, we were checking on which type it is. It's really interesting to see the different uh, styles that each guy will use. Really cool uh, carbon covers here. Again, Arc levers. Arc sponsors a lot of these teams, but uh, these carbon covers are really trick. Uh, and then if you look at these brake caps, all custom. They got his number in here, the way it's etched in, 450SR on this side. And even the grips, Jason likes a really soft grip, so he runs these white ones. A little Renthal logo here on the end is pretty cool. Uh, where AC runs a gray, a little bit firmer compound, full waffle. So a little different there. Uh, notice the polish in the frame. These guys spend so much time just buffing this thing out. And uh, you'll see in a lot of the parts, looks like that. Another difference is in the headers. So you can see this really long head pipe. The longer that head pipe is, the more bottom end it'll give it. So Adams is a little bit shorter. You can look at it visually and just see quite a bit shorter. That means he's got a little bit less bottom, a little more middle top. It's just a way for them to kind of shape the power for each rider. And then this skid plate, all carbon fiber, custom, and super protective. You can see how this thing hangs out and nothing's getting to this engine. All the coatings here on the side are really cool. Uh, they run a Henson clutch, full titanium kit, obviously looks great. And then the motor mounts, we talked about this even on the stock model, they've got holes here for a different mount, which will just change, when you change the mounting point, obviously it'd have to be the whole mount would be different, but it'll give it a different character. It'll be a little softer, a little stiffer, just depending on the material. Even changing the bolts you use here, if you go from tie to steel, it'll change the character. I know it's crazy, but it, it, it actually is true. I felt it myself. Um, look at the polish work, man. I mean, this is like a mirror here, the brake pedal. Nice titanium. They got some chrome wrapped in here. And uh, this is a really trick piece on the swing arm pivot. It's got a little tab here that kind of catches the brake from going up too high. Um, I don't know if that's for, for safety, so this doesn't kind of bend and want to snap. I'm not sure, but very trick. And then look at the polish on this rear brake. Man, that's a lot of work. Very, very cool. And full works linkage down here to kind of match the work show of suspension. That stuff is all very, very cool looking. And uh, on the back, it looks like a, a stock rear brake caliper, but you can see just all this stuff is magnesium, titanium, these drilled washers with the carbon cover, beautiful. And then the Pro Circuit exhaust, so the, the TIE 6 Pro, the Pro Series, is actually quieter than just a TIE 6 you'd buy off the shelf. That's so that they can meet the AMA sound requirements. So there's a reason that it's a pro model. Around this side, we see a couple other cool things. Uh, this whole chain guide is, is made by Kawasaki. A little bit longer, so it kind of gets back and makes sure that the chain can't derail. And then this plastic is a little bit uh, harder for a little more durability for these guys. Um, and then as we move our way forward, lots of neat stuff on the engine on this side. So again, all titanium, the mounts, the pegs, the pin, all of that, the axle, just beautiful looking at this stuff. Um, and as you see coming out of here, this whole cover looks like it's manufactured by them. That's different. Look at the shift lever. This is all like billet, beautiful stuff. And it's got a, a nice cover that wraps around so this thing can't get stuck with mud. Um, again, the uh, skid plate wraps around, protects everything really nice and clean all these coatings thing is just beautiful man and even even the radiator here as we swing around this side look at the polish he's got on this radiator man it's a lot of work a lot of work for all that and then lastly the front brake caliper again they've just put a lot of hours into polishing and buffing um, everything is drilled wire tied just these guys go through and cross every t dot every i and uh, Jason Anderson's ready to race. We'll see how he does here at A1.